Ukrainian army are preparing for the storm of Donbas. The concentration of Ukrainian troops on so-called the Second Front Line have been going on, reports the militia. According to the information of the resource, different military subdivisions are concentrating to the west of Marienka, behind Krasnogorovka, to the northwest of Karlovka and near Mariupol. Russia has transferred $1 million to the International Committee of the Red Cross to help the conflict hit civilian population in the southeast of Ukraine, the Russian Foreign Ministry reported on its website on Wednesday. Russia is using every opportunity to help civilian persons in the conflict area and is urging international humanitarian organizations to join efforts to alleviate the plight of those people, the Russian Foreign Ministry Press and Information Department said in a statement. Earlier, Australia to provide the Ukrainian armed forces with $2 million worth of financial assistance, the press service of the Ukrainian president reported on 9 of December. Abbott said Australia had decided to provide the Ukrainian armed forces with more than $2 million in financial assistance, the report said. Russia sent aid to civilians, Australia sent aid to Ukrainian army. Feel the difference. U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Nolan considers the sandwiches she was giving out during the Ukrainian protests a symbol of sympathy with the situation in the country during the Maidan events. It was a symbol of sympathy with the horrible situation that Yanukovych had put Ukrainians in, putting them against each other, Nolan said during the event at the American Enterprise Institute in Washington Wednesday. First of all, to correct some disinformation, they were sandwiches, they were not cookies. Okay, Victoria, sandwiches, new proud symbol of Maidan. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.